how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. He can speak English very well. Meditating could be the solution for stress. They can't sing in class. Can I have a word with you? You may leave the class whenever you need to. Rome may be the safest city in the world. May I help you? In this lesson, we're going to take a look at can, could, and may. So stay tuned. I've already talked about modal verbs such as ought to, shall, uh, would. If you wish to watch those lessons, you may click here. However, what is a modal verb? Well, a modal verb is an auxiliary verb used to talk about possibility, ability, permission, requests, and offers. This lesson, we're going to talk about can and could and may. Can is used for a present situation and could for a conditional sentence or, or a past situation. So, first of all, let's look at the three types of formulas. For a positive statement, we use the subject plus can or could, plus the base of the verb, so without to, and then the object. For a negative statement, we use the subject plus can plus not, so cannot or can't, or could plus not, plus the base of the verb, without to, plus the object. If we want to make a question, then we need WH question word, if any, then we need can or could, then the subject, and then the base of the verb. So we have four different types of situations where we can use can or could. So indicating ability in the present or in the past, in the past with could. So my first introductory example was, he can speak English very well. So, he can speak English very well. So, this can is used for an ability. He can speak English very well. For uh, a past situation, we use could. So, we can say, he couldn't, he couldn't speak English 10 years ago. Now, if we want to uh, use uh, can with uh, another ability, we can say, you can watch my lesson on YouTube. So that can there is, it means awareness through senses, in this case, through your eyes, through sight, right? Awareness through sights. So you can watch my lesson on YouTube. The second usage is to indicate capability, which is a little bit different than ability, capability. Meditating could be the solution for stress. Here, could gives you a possibility, is also a conditional sentence, right? Meditating could be the solution for stress. It may not be, but it could be. Another uh, example, Governments can be harsh on the poor. Governments can be harsh on the poor. And here means capable of having an effect on someone, in this case, on the poor. The third usage would be indicating prohibition. For example, they can't sing in class. They are not allowed. They can't sing in class. You may also use may they may not or mayn't sing in class. A very formal situation. They may not sing in class in a formal situation. Another example could be children cannot bathe except in the presence of lifesavers. So, children cannot, can't, cannot bathe except in the presence of lifesavers. Now, the last usage is to indicate requests. So, can I have a word with you? In a very informal situation, can I have a word with you? Could I interrupt a minute? Could I interrupt a minute? 
This would be a formal situation, so for example at a meeting, at a business meeting. Or you could even use, may I open the window, may I open the window, in a formal situation. Now let's look at may. For a positive sentence, you will use the subject, then may, then the base of the verb, and then the object. So remember, without two. Negative statement, subject plus may or mayn't, plus the base of the verb, without two, plus object. For interrogative sentence, you will use wh question word plus may, plus the subject, plus the base of the verb, etc. When do we use may then? To indicate permission. You may leave the class whenever you need to. This would be in a very formal situation. You may leave the class whenever you need to. Or you can drive up to 130 kilometers an hour on the highway in Italy. So this is a very informal situation and uh, it means you're allowed to, right? You can even use could. You could drive up to 130 kilometers an hour on the highway in Italy. So this would be a more conditional type of sentence. The second usage is to indicate possibility. Rome may be the safest city in the world. This would be a very formal situation and maybe, so there is a possibility, it's not for sure, but there is a possibility that Rome may be the safest city in the world. That may not sound polite to some. It's possible that's not the case. This is what it means. That may not sound polite to some. It is possible that's not the case. The third usage is to indicate offers. So, like I say, may I help you is very formal, but you can even say, can I help you, which is informal. Now, I have a sentence for you to complete under this video, and it will be space, you please tell me the time. So, we have a space here, so you can maybe use can, could, or may. You please tell me the time. So write your answer under this video. If you have any comments or any requests, you may also type them under this video. Having said that, subscribe to my channel, uh, share if you liked the lesson, and um, don't forget that we have a community section on my homepage. That's it for today. Have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care, bye bye.